Content Navigator was first uh, introduced as a part of LKC Render Blocks about uh, six months ago, and uh, you could get it only if you purchase premium version of LKC Render Blocks. But from this point, now I decided to make it also a standalone product. So if you don't need all the features from LKC Render Blocks, but you find Content Navigator interesting, this is the new thing. You will be now able to try it for free and to purchase premium version if you like it. So let's explore what are the differences in this update. If you have a large project, it becomes difficult to navigate at some point. Reaper has a limitation of displaying just three digit numbers for the number of tracks. So this is a limitation <laughs> that I just discovered. But uh, yeah, this project has over 1000 tracks. And if you try to navigate here, it becomes really almost impossible. And also if you have a mouse that's not working, it's even more difficult. So anyway, this is the project. Maybe you can try navigating with a navigator that's included. And it becomes difficult to use this tool as well when your project becomes uh, so large. The thing is that Reaper is capable of handling projects of this size, but you will not be able to handle them. So that's why I created Content Navigator. So we have video track, we have some notes and we have two chapters. And let's open chapter one. We have some characters over here. For example, we have Empire and I'm using right click over here to open and close or you can use double click, but right click I think is a bit faster. So you can go and find what you need. And when you click, it will focus on that part of the project. So just the content that you need. So I realized that a lot of people are actually organizing their folders and tracks like this. So you have a dedicated folder that has a dedicated space in timeline. And so the projects become diagonal in their organization. With Content Navigator, you can jump quickly between these things. Or even if you have layered sounds like something like this, you can view these separately or together. Uh, what's new is actually multi-selection. So now you can do a bunch of these folders. So you can use attack basic and taunts and dirt level one and grass level two. And so you can view all these. And if you change over here, it will change uh, how it looks over here. The next thing that is possible now is using alt and right click. So with alt and uh, let's first close everything. So if you want to expand or collapse, you can uh, use these buttons. But uh, if you want to do it quickly, uh, you can do it with uh, holding Alt and right clicking. And it will expand the folder and all its children. And if you want to collapse everything, because with right click we will just close it. But if you want to collapse everything, you hold Alt and Shift and right click. So when you open this folder next time, everything will be closed. And I find this really useful. Then you can see here that we have jump enabled. That means that when you click over here, you will jump to the content of these tracks. It will find the first item on the available tracks. But if you want to disable that, you can click here and it will always stay on the same position in timeline. So you can choose your default behavior what you want, but with Alt you can modify it. So if it's disabled and you click with using Alt, it will jump. But if it is enabled and you hold Alt, it will not jump. So that's just one neat trick that can be useful when you want to keep your position or not keep your position. There is also a free version of Content Navigator available now. And let's see what are the differences. So if I remove the license and run the tool again, you can see right away that it says 10 items not shown, free version limit reached. So you're limited to 20 items inside this list with the free version. And you're also limited to three levels of depth. So you can have a parent and another child and then another child of the child. And that's it for the free version. And also you cannot use multi-selection. And if you purchase, whether it is personal or commercial one, you will have unlimited number of tracks uh, being shown here and also unlimited number of depth. I mean, all the way until Reaper crashes or the script crashes. I actually don't know where limit is. So. With this update, this tool becomes even more useful for game audio because you can quickly and efficiently jump from one place to another and you can also do uh, multiple selections or collapse everything you don't want to 
look at uh, but uh, it's not useful just for game audio it could be also used for music but probably disable jumping so you can compare uh, things while you're listening so you can let's lower this down a bit so you can listen to the beat for example just the beat and let's open this we have fields that's a separate folder yeah let's open this so we have some content over here we have beat we have bass and let's uh, listen it with the beat so that's it i think uh, and i hope this could be useful to a lot of people not just myself and let me know if it's not the case so we can maybe work together on improving it thank you very much and see you next time